decided to give myself a little bit of a challenge. Um, I'm always seeing people on some of the Facebook groups I'm in, they're always posting five and six pound bass that they catch at this place. It's called Espada Park. So I'm doing the Espada Park challenge. Like I've, I've grown up around in this area. I've never caught anything out of this part of the river. Uh, so my challenge is gonna be, it's gonna be something reasonable. I'm not gonna go for like a six pound bass or something. It's like if I can pull a two pounder out, I'll consider it successful. So I'm going for a two pound bass out of a spot of park. And uh, I don't know what, how long this video is gonna take me. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to uh, accomplish this challenge. Uh, it might take me a couple days, might take me a couple weeks, a couple months, whatever. Uh, so to give a, an example of how long it's taking me today is September 8th. And uh, it's day one. So we'll see if I get anything out here on day one. Got one. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that or not. That guy running over there. That's Jake the Jinx. Alright, day two of my uh a spot of park challenge. Uh, got the this month's mystery tackle box. This is what I'm going to use today. A lot of good stuff in there. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to get something with it. Uh, got some pretty good stuff in here this month. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to use this here or not because I every time I use a brand new crankbait here I lose it. Uh, this is a soft body one. It's kind of like one of those rubber frogs. It's even got the uh, plug on the bottom like the frogs, but it's a crank. Uh, insane swim jig, 3 8 ounce from Buddha Bait Company, blue and black. Probably won't use that one today either, but I might. Uh, Got some uh, drop shot hooks. There's only two in there though. I'm a little disappointed with that, but uh, those will work well with these. Biospawn plasma tails. And then we have these uh, extreme squid scent uh, ultimate strike minnows, pumpkin red flake. They, uh, I think these will be similar to. Uh, the swim sankos, if you've seen those, I think that's what these are going to be similar to. These ought to work pretty well too. So, uh, yeah, I mean, not a whole lot of stuff because I just got the basic one, but uh, pretty happy with that. Got him that time. Nice catfish. Look at that. Nice hook set. Side of the mouth. Fat, heavy one. <laughs> Look at that. I think I just caught myself a crankbait. Yep, sure did. It's such an old crankbait that the hooks are gone. Maybe I can clean that up. 
<laughs> That's funny. It's been in there for years. Need the pliers on this one. Somebody's braided line snapped. This at one point probably was a pretty good, uh, pretty nice crankbait. Let's see. I got one this time. Got him. God damn it, fucking turtles. <sighs> Shit. I'm catching everything but bass. At least this one I should be able to get the hook out of him. Just got him on the edge of the mouth. <clears throat> there you go, buddy. And he's free to go. Oh man. That is a water moccasin. Just swam into these plants right here. Let me make sure it didn't try to eat my fish. Okay. That, that was a big green water moccasin. It's I know it's too dark to see anything on the GoPro right now, but I'm gonna be down down here from it let it go that direction and well that's gonna be it for the night <laughs> ah damn it the snake did yo my get my fish hey Damn it! And that is a big moccasin. Am I still recording? Do you see this? That is a big moccasin. Do I have my big knife with me? I really hope I have my big knife with me. I knew it was time to go with this. Let me take my backpack off. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was gonna happen. And of course I didn't have my big knife with me, but the snake, uh, I gave it one good low, good place kick right to the side of its head and it let go. So uh, that's gonna be it for the GoPro video. I need to get out of here. <laughs>